Well, that took a long time to pick a Disney Let's Play. You've seen the title already, and I'll just tell you one thing. It came down between this and Emperor's New Groove. Vandelia wanted me to play Emperor's New Groove, and some and Mario Tube One Zero One, who I'm actually going to cooperate on Nicktoons Unite Let's Play, the grand crossover of Nickelodeon stars. But it was a tough choice, I gotta say. Emperor's New Groove, created by the same guys who did Aladdin and the Zero's Revenge. A platformer that's just as hard. Well, maybe not as hard. Like, Aladdin, I couldn't be finished as a kid. But, Emperor's New Groove, I didn't finish until my freshman year of high school. But this game... has an, It has a unique distinction from every other game I've ever played. As a kid, by the way. Well, anyways, let's go into the game and I'll talk, but... It remains... Well, anyway, here it is. This remains the only game that I did not beat... No. This remains the only game that I played... No, that I received as a kid. But... Oh my god, hang on. I got support my thoughts, but th how do I phrase this? To this day, this remains the only game from my childhood game library that I did not finish on my own. Hell! In my original playthrough, I barely picked up the controller, and by the way, we had the Disney interact, and that was cut out. Oh my god. Logo. And I'm probably gonna have to restart the video. Gotham Games. Gotham Games. Apparently Batman made this game. What a way to start off your game! Giving us a nice shot of Piglet's ass! Thank you! I needed that. Let's go in. It was the first day of Oh my god, a leaf fell off a tree! And everyone there was very busy spring or autumn cleaning. Or at least almost everyone was. I gotta say, the cutscene quality is pretty good. Playing with his ball. Anyways, I'm probably after this little cutscene, I'm gonna stop now the clip and then um, for something resume. misplaced. Oh, I see. Hey, where has my memory book gone off Well, anyways, I like I was saying I before, remember. well, I don't have to restate. I already said that this remains the only game from my childhood game library that I beat, but I barely picked up the controller during the process. In reality, it was my dad who beat the game for me. And you'll see, and I'll tell you the exact moment I got to where I stopped playing and my dad needed to finish the game for me. You're gonna see. And, anyways, I don't have my original copy of the game anymore. I ended up selling it at GameStop and I only got 50 cents for it. And to this day, I regret selling my copy of it. What the fuck? What? A gross. Wait a second, there, little piglet. Oh, <laughs> that's just a big old pile of leaves, and, and they're very good for bouncing in. <laughs> um, that thing, I, I think it was from a Winnie the Pooh production of sorts, but I don't remember. Oh! A Brontosaurus or Gronosaurus, I don't know. Well, there you go, Christopher Robin. Cuddle with him. Oh my! Oh, what the hell's wrong with his eyes? Gee, what the hell? I I understand that in the earlier Winnie the Pooh productions, his eyes were nothing but dots. But why this? Like, clearly, he has like eyes. He has, like, the outlines for where the rest of the white part of the eye would appear. Yeah, I'm not good with naming parts of the eye, but... 
face my fear as you But said. why would they include that? Why not just make his eyes nothing but dots? You have to stare it down. Here it's like he has actual eyes. Ex eyes are not his pupil and irises are the color of the rest of his skin. So I don't know. I know that in the 2011 movie, they gave him, like, real human eyes, and, like, that's the one thing with animation. Like, sometimes they'll give him Google eyes, like, what an actual human, like, what actual human eyes would look like. And then sometimes they get, especially for characters with glasses, they would give him nothing but dots. So, I think the DCAU is, like, one of the biggest examples. Like, a lot of characters, I mean, there's a lot of characters that have, like, actual eyes, like Batman himself. Um, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, um, Robin, Static, and all that. But then there's characters like Superman and... Wait a sec. Yeah, there's Superman. He had nothing but dots. Oh my god. Here we are! Full 60 frames per second. Let's stop the clip for a minute because I gotta make sure this isn't going out of sync. Well, I fixed it up. Hopefully there should be no problems. So, here we go. Anyways. If you no like game and new game. New... We gotta go to new game. New game. Let's see. I wanna see... This is obvious. The start of the game is obviously on the title screen, so let's see if I can type this out. No, I can't do it, shit. Alright, let's see. What will... work? Hmm. It's a big mystery, people. I have no idea what to type in for a name. I can't type in ah, because this game's not hard. That's not gonna work. Um, I can't type in burgers, because I'm not playing Arthur. I can't type in... Hmm, I can't type in 69, because there's no numbers, and number one, there's no sex jokes in this. Um... I can't type in fuck you, because, you know, I barely remember this game. I wasn't even the one who played it. So, what to name this? Hmm. That is really hard to come up with. Such a big process. Why can't I type in a name? I can't type in a fucking name, so I'm just gonna keep clicking around. Um... <laughs> can I come up with anything? Well, let's see. There was, um... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, who to name myself? After the creator of this game. There we go. Insufficient free space. Well, shit. And that's my only memory card. Holy fuck. Retry. 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 Fuck. Well, another interruption, people. I gotta go on my PS3 and back up some saves. Make some room. Yep. Alright, now it should work. So, I moved my KH1 Let's Play save and my Piglet's Big Game save that I was using to play the game when I rebought it a few months ago. So, 
Anyways, let's go see what all this stuff is. Let's see. View credits. But I didn't even play the game, so I don't know. <laughs> Switch vibration. No thanks. Center screen. I think we're okay. Oh my god. Center screen. I want to know if we can... Cancel, because... Eh. Then, over here, we got select volume level, and I'm fine the way it is. Select mono, or select stereo? We want stereo. Speaking of which, for Christmas, I need to consider ordering... No, no, not ordering. Asking Santa for a stereo headset, because using a cheap Xbox Live headset that I got with my... 360, well, it's done the job much better than my earlier recording devices, but, you know, I could use something better, you know? Sure, this does the job, but, let's face it, don't you want to hear me in better quality? If especially since there, I could get in better quality? I don't know. Anyways, we have a, no wait, before we go to the telescope, what do we do over here? View cinematics. No, I'll get copyright, assuming it's from the movie this game is based on. Because yes, there was a movie. View Disney clips. Oh ho ho! No, thank you. <laughs> Shoot. Pooh, Winnie the Pooh's Pink dream. And then we also and have a dream for Rue. Oh Pink my god, look hit. at that. There's Anyways, um, let's go to Pooh, because he has... I see the cookie counter is at a hundred, so that must mean the level's easy. I could do with a smackerel of honey now. Yeah, and smackerel of honey. Toy. I'm having a smackerel of iced tea. Or three. It's been a while since I've been able to record a game like this. And it's all because I've had to take care of the little mush baby that's upstairs, my little doggy. Now, you're wondering what's the name of the new dog? Well, do you remember Pocahontas' cuddly little animal sidekick in, Poca in, the, in, the, in the 1995 Disney Pocahontas? Uh, more specifically, not the woodpecker, the raccoon. I believe my sister named the dog after him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my sister really does like Pocahontas, even though it's one of the most eight. Oh my god, I can't form words. Well, actually, I can form words. And I can walk around. We're not 60 frames anymore, so it's not a real game anymore. I don't care. I want to play it anyway. Now, here's one thing I did not realize when I first played through this game. You have to kick these. Th you have to kick these objects with the X button to get cookies to come out, because you need cookies to achieve scares. And you'll see what the scares are for in a minute. In a, in a minute. And of course, these cookies can be aggravating to collect since you have a time limit. And they eat. They all release exactly five cookies each. See? There we go. Pack into the object. Now, what was I saying about Pocahontas? Oh, yeah. My sister really does like uh, the 1995 Pocahontas movie by Disney. Even though it's often considered to be the worst movie to come out of the Disney Renaissance. That doesn't mean it's bad. It ju it's just compared to the rest of the movies of the Disney Renaissance, it's considered to be the weakest. Of course, people like to put Hercules as no the number two weakest, but I liked Hercules. I thought they did a good job with it. And then Hunchback was really good, even though there's a lot of people that are polarized about that because of its darker subject matter. But anyways, it looks like Owl is over there. What's he doing in Pooh's dream? Invading our privacy. And no, his privacy. This? Could it be my young friend Piglet? Oh, Why, oh, yes, wow. I am. What a pleasure it is to see you. I can't now, believe you don't recognize me. What? The, it's just game? like... Would I see a parallel between Piglet's more? Big Game and Doggy Poo, oh, the short film the serious Mr. Enter reviewed. <laughs> the whole movie and the whole short film, respectively, they try to find what they're good for. They're completely useless, and they must have a purpose in life.
And yeah, that's what the whole premise is. Except Doggy Poo had it was a lot more. Um, it did not let up. <laughs> it was completely over dramatic. I remember seeing Piglet's big game, big movie. I almost said big game. Um, Piglet's big movie. I believe I saw it. I don't know if it was in. Th I don't remember if it was in theaters, but if it was in theaters, I probably saw. I saw it. I think. Hell, I kind of have a history with that movie, even though it got good reviews, just like most Winnie the Pooh stuff did. In fact, the only Winnie the Pooh movie that didn't really get that good reviews was Pooh's Grand Adventure, and that's mostly due to its darker subject matter and how it wasn't a traditional Winnie the Pooh movie in any sense of the word. Hell, it even got a PG rating, or, or wait, or it almost got a PG rating. I think it still got the G rating, but... Besides, I haven't seen that movie in forever. And that movie was the basis for Pooh's party games on the PS1. What do you know? I just set up another Let's Play for me. Anyways, we have a... Cookie of sorts that Piglet's able to push over with some difficulty. And then we have a river of... Cookies, and what are we doing in... And I just realized... What are we doing in Shark Boy and Lava Girl lands? Planet Drool, the land of milking cookies. Where are the giant parents who try to eat us? <laughs> who just grab the cookie we're riding on as a boat, and then they just walk away. <laughs> Not serving any kind of purpose or any kind of metaphor. What's funny is that Shark Boy and Lava Girl, that's like another thing. So, one weekend, I wanted to see the Hey Arnold movie when it was airing. It, was, it had three airings on Nickelodeon one weekend. Uh, what's going on? Oh, poo. Oh, do be careful, Piglet. This caramel is quite sticky, and I, I seem to have found myself um, rather uh, stuck in it. And it would be so ballless. Well, we Pooh, why'd stuck. you go you walk inside and sit but down in the sticky caramel? In the Aren't you supposed well, to stay off to the side and eat the caramel? I thought this might be a good place to search. Well, By the way, I don't like caramel. I, <laughs> I find it too similar to but chocolate. Now I think about it some more, I could be mistaken. So. Hold on, Pooh. I'll get you out. That sure you will. Nice. Thank you, Piglet. I suppose but anyways, getting back to hair on the movie. So... Hair, yeah, the Hey Arnold movie didn't get that good of reviews, but I really wanted to see it when I was a kid because I did really like Hey Arnold. In fact, I want to watch it on Hulu, and I, I'm kind of excited for that. I hear that Craig Bartlett and like some of the original creators are coming back for a TV movie that, like, Hey Arnold's coming back for a TV movie with the original creators on board, and it's gonna, instead of being like a reboot, they're continuing the original series. Like, they're going to give it a proper finale, looks like. But the solution to our problem with Pooh being stuck in sticky caramel is right there. Mm. Right. <laughs> like Piglet thought a yard away from us. But there we go. Hang on, Pooh. I'll do my best to unstick you. And yes, that was a bit easy. <laughs> I've discovered that caramel is quite good for but now, eating. Can I focus on Hey Arnold for a minute? Um, so they did. Nickelodeon was doing three airings now of the movie one weekend, it. one for I'm each sure day. On Friday, I simply missed the airing by accident. On Saturday, my oh, mom and dad took me to a theme park me. that's close by to me. And. On the third day. I was going to go watch the movie, but then I realized I did not see Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Because, yeah, I wanted to see the movie, because back then, if it was for kids, I needed to see it. Simply put. Did Matt, I did not know there was such a thing as critique. So, but it's like, hey, Arnold's going to be on, and we're going to miss it. And my dad's like, why don't we just tape it? 
So yeah, my dad went to go. T he said it to take me. I tell everyone, my ma, my gram, my cousin who was visiting, do not touch the TV in the master bedroom. So me, my dad, my sister go see Shark Boy and Lava Girl. We come back, and much to my utter horror, and my sister actually did get upset at this. We saw that the channel was changed to some kind of sports channel or something. And I found out my cousin did it. And she kept playing the, oh, it wasn't me card. Because she kept saying I didn't tell her not to touch it. Even though I fucking did. And unfortunate, but unfortunately, she still got away with it. And I say unfortunate, uh, and unfortunately, but unfortunately, what's my problem? But, oh, it's maybe because it's getting a little late, but I don't know. Maybe it's because finals are at starting at school and I got a lot of work to do. Eh, Christmas is coming up and I'll be able to focus better, but, eh. You don't know, but getting back to the story real quick. Unfortunately, my cousin got away with it, as did she. Well, and to put it, it's like, oh God. To summarize, she got away with a lot of stuff that she should not have gotten away for, uh, with, but. All because she's six years older than I am. Presumably, anyway. And I did get to see the ending to the Hey Arnold movie, but I didn't get to see the whole movie. In fact, it wasn't until I went to Blockbuster and rented a copy of the movie that I finally saw it. Because, yeah, I remember Blockbuster. I went there all the time. I loved it. But then Netflix happened and Blockbuster closed. Oh, well. Though, to be fair, I don't really buy movies anymore. Because I just go to the movie theaters to see them, and generally I only need to see generally I only need to see most movies once. I mean, if I really do love a movie, I will buy it. In fact, I have three sets of movies coming my way: um, Fast and Furious, X Men, and James Bond. In fact, scratch what I said before. I actually am trying to buy a lot more movies now. Like, especially since, well, I'm getting more and more into movies, simply put. Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon don't cut it anymore, because that's that, that was one reason why I didn't really buy movies all that much. Because, generally, if I wanted to see something, I would just ask my mod to rent it from Netflix, or I would just go see if it was on streaming. But now I do buy movies more often, because, you know... You can't get it, especially with stuff getting delisted and whatnot. And, yeah. Alright, I've stalled long enough. Um, so we've rescued Pooh, and is this the end of Pooh's dream? And hell, why are we even in Pooh's dream? That's kind of stalking like Spongebob, so... This video...